Tupac hugging a friend after coming back from New York now has him implicated in the murder of Randy Stretch Walker, according to Reggie Wright Jr. Also, Reggie Wright Jr. lies and says that Michael Harry O'Harris is somehow a government informant without any paperwork. Let's get into this straight game. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Play each situation correctly. Mm. I remember they used to laugh at a brother. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, straight game TV. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Uh, do me a favor. And hit the thumbs up button. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, tell a friend. And most importantly, like I always say, um, if you're new to the channel and you would like to be uh, notified when I drop a video, uh, please do me a favor and um, hit the uh, bell notification right below this video. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to get right into it. Um the alluding to the acting as if you know something that you don't know but don't really give any detail um the mere suggestion of with no evidence no kind of uh information uh, to corroborate what you're saying um these are all uh police tactics uh that are implemented by reggie wright jr i, I want you to understand that um, I'm going to start with this one uh, as a matter of fact uh, there was a Vlad TV video uh, this one right here in which uh, they were talking in reference to Tupac and um, Reggie Wright has the unmitigated gall or should I say the mere audacity to suggest um, no evidence at all and, and, and you got to pay attention uh, when you watch this video to the way that he did it, right? Now, we all know that Tupac Shakur is deceased, correct? Um, for some people. Some people still believe he's in Cuba or whatever, right? But we intelligent people uh, understand that Tupac Shakur is deceased, right? Now, I've already proven to you that Tupac really didn't have a relationship with Reggie Wright like that. He fired him, um, all of those things. You could check out my prior videos to, to catch up on that, right? Um, but in this video with Vlad, Reggie uh, uh, alludes to the fact that he believes that Tupac Shakur had something to do with the murder of Randy Stretch Walker. And not by any kind of evidence that he produced, not by any kind of statement that Tupac may have made to him in regards to that, because that simply wouldn't happen. Tupac wasn't a uh, pillow talking with Reggie Wright Jr., knowing that he was a, 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 a nefarious character and former police officer and seeing the activities and the things that he had involved himself in in dealing with death row. You know what I mean? Um, from that perspective, right? So, um, Reggie Wright basically says that based on the fact that um, somebody, he hinted to, you know, once again, this, this, this person who's deceased now, right? Um, uh, somebody coming back from New York in around the time that uh, 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 Randy Stretch Walker had been, been, been killed, uh, and the guy coming uh, uh, to the studio, uh, basically, the way that Tupac hugged the guy led Reggie Wright Jr. to believe that Tupac uh, sent a hit, if you will, on Randy Stretch Walker, right? See, this is where it becomes... Uh, too good to be true, uh, uh, too sad to laugh at, 
and not funny at all. And once again, it's pure speculation. Just speculation. Just let me throw something out there that sounds uh, incendiary. Let me drop this little bomb right here. And and then at the end of when he suggests that, you know, because of the way Tupac hugged this guy who's now dead. Right. Um, made Reggie Wright believe that Tupac had something to do with the murder of Randy Stretch Walker. Now. One minute they want to point to the fact of of what Tupac said, right? When it benefits their argument, right? Tupac said this, you know, when it benefits their argument. But on the other hand, Tupac had spoke on the situation with Randy Stretch Walker, right? Um, because people had, they had asked him before in regards to, you know, Something happening to, to, to Stretch Walker and um and Tupac basically said this. I need you to read this, right? Okay. Not only that, right? Um, in, in the song, uh, uh, Tupac alluded to the fact, um, he said, um, uh, niggas, uh, switch sides. I guess his new friends wanted him dead. Right. Right. And he was talking about stretch in that song. Um, I, I believe it was against all odds. It was against all odds. Right. Uh, uh, he said switch sides. I guess his new friends wanted him dead. Right. Now. When you understand what Tupac said and what you just read and in the song, right? Tupac was very clear about his feelings in regards to, to Randy Stretch Walker, right? Um, you know, their friendship and so on and so forth. So as to allude to, from Reggie Wright Jr.'s perspective, as to allude to because Tupac hugged somebody, right? He got this um, uh, belief, not from nobody saying nothing to him, not from what he overheard because he didn't hear anything. He got the belief that Tupac Shakur allegedly had Randy Stretch Walker killed or something to do with it, insinuating that Tupac somehow, some way was involved with that situation. You, you, do you understand what I'm saying about what's been going on with uh, this situation in regards to Tupac, regards to Reggie Wright Jr., regards to him mentioning my name when I come out and I present facts and I had said nothing about this guy? Right. When you understand the totality of what's been going on, right, Um, just recently. He alluded to the fact that somehow, some way, um, once again, an another one of these things that he can uh, uh, present no evidence in regards to, right? In regards to Harry O being some kind of informant, Harry O did over 30 years in prison. 30 years. And Reggie Wright Jr. would make the, the uh, attempt to assassinate Harry O's character by uh, the mere accusation or or allegation or alleging that Harry O was some kind of government informant. I need you to ponder on that for a minute. Harry O was a heavyweight when he went to prison. Heavyweight guy, you know, and you understand what I'm saying? If he wanted to do some kind of... Uh, cooperation with the government that would have been the perfect time not after you do 30 years and then all of a sudden now you want to become this guy um who wants to uh allegedly testify or build a rico case against suge knight right let's be clear they have said that and i don't know if this is true that the guy kevin hackey was a fbi uh, informant correct 
they wouldn't have needed Harry O to uh, make a case against Suge Knight. They had an FBI informant implanted in the security and securing uh, uh, Tupac and death row. Right. And from all, you know, um, uh, research that I've done, it, it, it is it, it, it's to be assumed to be true. But like I said, I haven't talked with no federal agents or nothing like that to know that, you know, Kevin Hackey was an informant. But by all um, the information that I've and the people that I've talked to, it sounds pretty credible. Right. So now and I believe that at one time, you know, Kevin Hackey had alluded to the fact that, yeah, he was uh, uh, an undercover informant for the FBI now. So I bring these facts to you under that same uh, premise of alluding to something about Harry O, Reggie Wright Jr., saying that Harry O was a snitch or some kind of informant and in which me personally and, and, and how the mathematics usually add up, that's absolutely positively false. Like I said, Reggie Wright has brung you no evidence, no nothing. Just the mere talking about it, right? But then he begins to say the FBI agent's name and all of that. Damn, you, you, you seem to know these people. You know what I mean? You seem to be a little bit more closer to these people than, than I believe in Harry or anybody else would from that perspective. So now, once again, when you listen to what somebody's saying and then they throw out names and things of that nature, right? You got to be weary because they're pointing that finger once again and there's three pointing back at them. You see, it could be assumed that somehow uh, uh, Reggie Wright Jr. cooperated in his uh, money laundering case. As you know, Wesley Snipes uh, did more time uh, for tax evasion and his his actual um, uh, the tax preparer not doing the right thing. Red, uh, 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 Wesley Snipes did more time than Reggie Wright for a blatant and willful act of money laundering. So it could be assumed, I don't know, you know what I mean, that Reggie Wright Jr. somehow cooperated with the government. And let's be clear, to cooperate with the government, it does not have to be in your case file uh, uh, in which is made public. You know, you can go down to the courthouse and, you know, um, you know, ask for the Freedom of Information Act or something like that. That doesn't have to be made public when you've signed a cooperation agreement with the government. Let's be clear about that. So when somebody tells you, you can go check my paperwork, right? It does not have to be made clear or public that you are a, go a government uh, agent or, or cooperator. Right. So, like I said, once again, people have to be very careful about the things that they uh, say about other people. Right. Because that one finger is pointing, but the three is pointing back. And like I say, once again, um, you know, as to Harry O, when you deal with that fact, it's like. After he did 30 years. He still needed Harry O still needed the, the help of Snoop, you know, and going um, um and to, to, to the president that at that particular time to get the pardon. So what Reggie Wright was saying about Harry O simply can't be true. Well, why would he need a pardon if he cooperating and trying to get out? You know what I mean? Evidently, you know, he didn't cooperate enough or better yet, he wasn't cooperating at all. And so when you deal with all of these things, there, there, there comes a time when um, Reggie Wright Jr. cannot offer any factual information as to what he's saying and, and just makes these speculative out of the air comments in order uh, to say something incendiary about something or somebody um, just to get views. Like I said, he is a guy who hasn't uh, uh, not one piece of talent, none, zero who even lied about him running death row, right? 
who even lied about uh, uh, Yasmin uh, uh, Fula, uh, you know, basically saying that he didn't say uh, that she was fired. And he said it at approximately four times on another video that I found uh, from him. So basically, I used his own words to prove that he's a liar. Right? Once again, wake up, guys. You know, I'm going to keep on bringing you this straight game. But like I said, more importantly, um, you know, people who are helping and doing good things in the community um, shouldn't be um, defamed. Or, or their character shouldn't be um, uh, uh, in jeopardy by somebody who is a known liar like Reggie Wright Jr., your boy Delray, straight game.